Konami has done the unthinkable. Beatrice, Lady of the Eternal, has actually been added to Duel Links, making Burning Abyss a top tier, tier two deck. Let's go. Time to play with my sister. Gaga Ga, Ga sister is back in the meta. I don't think that this is top tier though, unfortunately. Ultimate Unite. What the heck did we just do? Ultimate Unite. You're going to once per turn, twice per duel. You are going to pay half your life points, send a Gaga monster from your field to the graveyard, then play a Gaga Ga monster from among three possibilities from outside the deck of your deck to your field and change its level to four. What? Okay. That just happened. Come forth into new alternative art utopia. You will, mate. Utopia cutscene. This is the utopia structure. Five win streak utopia structure. So this is going to be able to negate a monster attack. Is that it? Active monster effect? Wait, what? What? This activated. Add a ZW. Twin Saber. Making it 3,500 attack. Gaga Ga Revenge. Summoning the sister back in the field. Gaga Ko come forth and summon. Sister become both level 6. Force Focus. Negate a level 5 or higher monster. Can't negate exceed. So what does this do? You target a Utopia, make it 1,000. Once returned, while this card is equipped to a monster, you can negate a monster effect, activate monster negate, and negate a level 5 or higher monster. Okay, let's go. How do we break this? We don't. <laughs> we, we end our turn. He's got five win streak. We got back row. Back row is going to be the way. Ultimate Unite again? <laughs> Holy moly, what's going on? Zexomorph! We are Super Saiyan. Karma Cut in the draw phase. Discard Banish. Lance. Lancia. We're protected from spell and trap. You could not banish me. Chain Raigeki Break. Karma Cut and Raigeki Break. Another Lancia. How do you win? How do you win? Rhino? Rhino send Farfa. Oh no, Farfa activates in the graveyard. The Twin Pegasus. While this card is equipped to a monster, you could only negate a monster activated on your opponent's field. What? 3100. Now the Utopia is going to come back during the end phase. Come back. Cannot lethal. We only have two cards in the hand. What could we possibly do? Crane Crane, yes. Tour Guide. Limited to one tour guide. Come forth and summon from the deck, negating the Farfa. Making Dante, but we could detach, then banish. Detach, mill three, triggering the Farfa. Banish thee. Sir, summon the Farfa back onto the fields. Mind a plana, deleting the force focus. <gasps> Utopia's dead. If a monster declares an attack. If you have no exceed materials, destroy this card. It just like that. Direct attack lethal, replay attack, knocking out a five win streak, ultimate unite Zexel. Let's go. There can only be one winner. And you're looking at it. Let's go. Now, what is so good about the Beatrice? Let's check out the Beatrice. Beatrice is good because of... You could use a Dante to summon it. And it has the quick effect to send a monster from your deck to the graveyard. Quick effect. So quick effect, send removal. Like Farfa. Farfa banish. 
Dante Milling three. Milling the Rhino. Rhino's going to send a Skarm. Skarm will search. We're going to rank up Exceed into Beatrice. 2,000 defense. Skarm search in the end phase. Okay. So this is a sample deck that we're looking at. We're going to look at the actual deck that did well. MST on the back row. Triple D top tier. Get Dragonborn's deck up here. Here we go. Dragonborn playing a ton of back row traps. Taking out a Karma Cut. Flame King Genghis, which is going to be once during your own turn, negate a spell or trap so he could negate the back row. Beatrice sending the Farfa. There you go. Dante also being sent to the graveyard is going to return a monster back. Farfa banishing the monster. Add back the Sir. Follow up. Normal summon. Normal summon the Night Howl. Night Howl into a level 10 synchro. Karma Cut discarding to banish. Farfa returning his monster back. How do we finish the game? Crane Crane summon a monster from the graveyard. And it will negate it, so it will not be destroyed. We got rank 3 exceed. Come forth and summon. Into another Dante. Dante mill three become 2500 attack milling a farfa banishing the high king Genghis sending a scarm from the decks of the graveyard mind a plana deleting the banish pile so you don't get it back during the end phase oh my and dual links lethal if you don't summon Beatrice we done we out of here Venus Rhino a lich come forth in special summon we got Dante Dante Mill three, and then we're gonna summon Beatrice. Scar there we go, there we go. Beatrice is here. Why is Beatrice so damn good? Because she's quick effect, send Farfa to then banish your opponent's monster. Quick effect, banish. Let's go. Nuts. Scar, I'm gonna search for tour guide during the end phase. All right, let's go. Power of Beatrice is here. Discarding navigation to summon Apprentice Illusion Magician. Okay. Grabbing a Dark Magician to the hand. Enemy Controller. Econ Take. We're going to chain the Beatrice. Are we sending Farfa to banish our own Beatrice? Sending Sir. Sir will then activate summoning Dante. Dante, come forth. Wait, we detached Dante. We're activating Dante and summoning Dante. And we're using Dante to return a card in the graveyard back to the hand. Returning the tuner. Okay. Tuner back to the hand. Dark Magic Veil, minus 1,000 Kek W. Come forth and summon Dark Magician. Or Apprentice Illusion Magician Girl. Apprentice Illusion, adding another Dark Magician. Okay. Set before attacking. There's no MP2. No MP2. Tribute summoning for Dark Magician. That's going to trigger the effect of a Lich. What does a Lich do? If you could target one face of monster on the field, negates effects until the end of this turn. Kek, wait. Okay. Sir, special summon. <laughs> Was not big enough to take out the Dante. We're going to make the Synchro. You can only control one Virgil. Uh, we're going to Karma Cut it? I guess. What are we Karma Cutting? You can discard a card, discard a Burning Abyss, target one card your opponent controls, and then you could shuffle it in the deck. We're not able to make it now because he got rid of our tuna. Come forth into Dante. Can we make another Beatrice? Another one? Yes. Discard a Burning Abyss. Summon Be This is Beatrice Turbo. This is what I want to see. This is what I love to see. Quick effect, send a monster to the graveyard from the deck. We're going to banish with the Farfa temporarily, then rip up the Dark Magician with the skill Mind of Plana. 5,000 damage. Yes. That is what I'm talking about. The power of Beatrice. Let's go. Special on Farfa with the Sir, Dante Mill, discard, and Beatrice. Very good.
Scarman the Enphase Surge. Let's see how you could out my Beatrice. But the new Galaxy deck. Wait, are you new Galaxy? Wait, are you, you're not even playing the deck correctly. You're playing the old way to play Galaxy. Bro, we could negate you. We could banish you. <sighs> All right, let's make our turn one Beatrice. Special summon a Burning Abyss. Special summon a Burning Abyss. We haven't used our normal summon yet. Mill three. We're going to discard, and we got Beatrice. All right. The Metal Foes Fusion, very good for a free draw. Very good idea. Skarm searching the end phase. All right. Let's go. Samurai Skull. If we banish the skull, it's going to activate to summon a monster from the deck. We don't want to do that. Triple back row. How do we deal with back row? End phase Beatrice. Send a... What the heck? You could send any card? That's nuts. You send the Heavy Metal Foe Fusion, and then you get a free draw. Okay. Heavy Metal Foes, free draw. Just plus one with the Beatrice. That's nuts. MST, take out the Floodgates. Fiend Rhino into Libic. Show Khan into Dante. Dante randomly milling. We are milling the Fiendish Rhino, sending the Skarm. Skarm search in the end phase. We're going to make another Beatrice. Now, is Beatrice a hard once per turn? There is so much text in this card. It is a soft... If you have multiple Beatrice, they could both activate. That's freaking nuts. Wiping it out. No, am I wrong? I'm reading. I don't I don't see anything where it's hard once return. She's soft. She's soft. She's actually soft. That's nuts. Super soft. We could negate or we could banish. <laughs> you don't get to see though, because everyone just surrenders like a little wussy. They run away. They don't want to play. So we know he's good if he summons Photon Lead turn one. Okay, he's playing the right version. Very good. Come forth and summon. He's going to Photon Lead for the Monster Negate. Monster Negate. Ignister YCS profile. He didn't know his combo was illegal. What is his combo that was illegal? You tell me. What, what combo is illegal? Yeah, he's got the turn one Photon Lead. Yes. Let's go. Shokan to the Photon Lord. Photon, I keep Photon Lead. Photon Lord. Lord is going to Monster Negate. Detach Material Negate. This is the great set. This is the setup. How do we beat this? Monster Negate. Well, the Beatrice could get negated. But if we mill a Farfa, then he's screwed. The Photon Lord will have to negate the Farfa, yes? We got the Tuner. Treacherous trap hole, wiping him out. This is already looking really bad for Burning Abyss. Special summoning Sir, playing right through the back row. Special summoning Skarm, still not using up the normal summon. Special, special, play through the back row. You don't make Beatrice turn two, I don't think so. Photon Lord is going to be searching for a card right now, grabbing the Galaxy Eyes Cloud Dragon that could summon the Galaxy Eyes. We are are going into Beatrice. We discarded Farfa. Beatrice is here. Farfa activates to banish. Negates. Now the Photon Lord cannot be destroyed by card effects. And it's so good, the Photon Lord's actually not even in the game. It's obtainable only through the skill. Okay, the... Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Well, what are you doing? Whoa, 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 what are you doing, bro? You're getting rid of your Photon Lord. Full armor Photon Dragon. Did you not read the Beatrice? The Beatrice will now be able to send a Farfa and banish you. Wait, why did we not activate? Uh, okay. The Funk Fact, uh, once per turn during either player's turn, you could detach one exceed and then send a card from your deck to the graveyard. If this card is destroyed by your opponent's card, 
You could special summon a Burning Abyss from your extra deck, ignoring its summoning conditions. What? Okay. Now we chain the Beatrice. Activate Sir. Activate Rhino. Activate Beatrice. Let's go. This is going to be sending a fiend type monster from the deck to the graveyard. We're gonna add Summon the tuner. Uh the sinker that is. Send a Lebic. What did Lebic just do? Lebic set. Jeez, there's so many freaking cutscenes I can't read. Holy moly. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you could special summon a level 3 fiend monster from your hand, but its effects are negated, so we're just building a big wall of monsters. Could we have Farfoot him? Pop in Dante, Dante, add the Sir in the graveyard back to the hand. Multi-pop. Cloud Dragon, Cloud Dragon summoning the full armor back on the field. Woo, full armor? Got the equip- what? If this card's on the graveyard, you could target and exceed Galaxy and then attach this card to it and then pop again. We're on pop number three. Triple pop. Taking out Virgil, Virgil drawing a card. We're on pop number four. <laughs> pop number four. Pop, 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 pop. Quadra destroy. Detach, destroy again. This galaxy deck is nuts. Now we finally Farfa banish. <laughs> Farfa Banish. Exceed Galaxy. What? Didn't you win if you activated this card? Are you kidding me? I bring it up on screen. It won't let me. Target a Photon. Special Summon Attack. It cannot attack. Okay, it cannot attack. It cannot attack. Wait. If you summoned this, couldn't you rank up again? I guess you would have to play a third one, and you don't play a third one. Okay. Skarm gets searching for tour guide. Farfa return. What? He surrendered. Fiend Rhino, summon the Rubik, make our Dante Dante Mill 3. Million the Sir, gonna special summon. We're not making a turn one Beatrice. What the hell? Another Galaxy deck. <laughs> galaxy has Photon, Dragon, come forth. Oh my. Are we going to do Quadra Pop like the last duel? Pop, 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 pop. We are going to get Exceeding Galaxy Knight. Minus 1,000 attack, Heck W. Shokan into the Galaxy Eye Cypher Dragon so we can make the full armor. Full armor is going to allow us to pop a card and then pop another card. He stole the monster. What are you doing? Jesus! Holy moly! So if you steal the monster, monsters you control cannot attack your opponent directly for the rest of this turn except this card. So you, you gave up. That's it. You can't lethal this turn. You can't lethal. Galaxy Eyes full armor. Pop a card on the field. Popping the face up. Detaching the Dante. Bro, didn't you have another card to detach? Detach the... I guess the Rhino would also have activated. Cypher Blade. Pop that back row card. Wait, if you play the Concentrating Current, you can lethal. Concentrating Current, steal the monster, then go in for game. Galaxy skill is broken. I see. It is. I see. 3k, not lethal. He gave up the ability to attack directly with other monsters. All right. No main phase two. That's it. Back to him. Let's go. Let's go. From my hand, MST that back row, taking out the Lance. Free draw with the Metal Foes, Fusion. One card, Tour Guide. Tour Guide into Rhino. 
Make him the Dante. Detach the Rhino. Rhino, send from the deck to the graveyard. Arfa's going to banish the monster temporarily, but then we could delete it with the Mind of Plana. Sir's going to summon a Tuna from the graveyard. Let me know in the chat which deck is more fun to play. Galaxy or Burning Abyss? Which deck should I build first? I mean, they both look really fun. I think those are the new most fun decks. I'm not sure if I'm really interested in Triple D, but Burning Abyss and the Galaxy, the Burning Abyss seems quite nuts. There's too many things to negate here. And what you could do is if you Dante, you Dante mill a Farfa, you hope that Farfa is milled first because you can't choose your chain link orders and duel links. By the way, if you're a duel links player and you played Master Duel, can we agree that you should be able to choose chain link orders? Okay, it's not difficult. They could put it in the options. Choose chain link orders, yes or no. There's no excuse. If they want to keep it simple, then it, they could automate it for everyone else. But I want to freaking choose. I've always wanted to choose, even before Master Duel. Because now he's got to randomly mill Farfa first to then have Farfa be on the first chain link to be chain link blocked from being negated. Virgil. Still alive. No, I'm dying. Farfa sent to the graveyard. Activate the Farfa. He didn't even go for the Dante for the random mill. Has to negate the Farfa. He's also going to search his deck for a reborn card. Virgin? Uh, Virgil. Vir Vir Did I say Virgin? Virgil returning the Photon Lord back into the extra deck by discarding, activating the Sir, summon the monster from the graveyard, come forth. Special summon the Skarm. Into Dante. Dante Mill, 5,000 damage. And clapping up these Galaxy Eyes fools. Left and right. We are playing against Gandora the Explorer. Can we defeat top tier Gandora? Gandora is the same tier as Galaxy Photon. Burning Abyss is considered better right now. Let's go. Do we have Beatrice to be defeat them? I would like to see the Beatrice. Yes, Beatrice is here. Have no fear. And Tour Guide's ready for next turn. Skarm Search Tour Guide is nasty. All right, let's go. Minus 150 Keck W. Discard Thunder Dragon, add a Thunder Dragon. Determination to fight. Grab Gandora. Discard Thunder Dragon and Thunder Dragon. Stop right there. Beatrice is going to send a Heavy Metal. What? He's ending his turn? Okay, we're going to draw next turn. Free draw. If your opponent does nothing, then Beatrice send the Heavy Metal Foes to then draw next turn. Okay, easy. Fiendish Rhino, come forth. Lebic. Exceed into Dante. Dante Mill 3, Phoenix Rhino, send the Skarm to search during the end phase. We're going, is there going to even be an end phase? Heavy Metal Flow Fusion, draw 5,000, bro, no, 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 okay, thank you. Samurai Defense, we're going to block the uh, next attack, you're not going to, wait, Farfoot? No! Doesn't that stop all damage? Cannot be if you, and then when you take battle damage, if you have no spell and trap cards, you could summon this. It cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. Farfa does not destroy. We're going first. Let's make our turn one Beatrice. We'll skip right through it. Making the Dante, mill three, discard, and we got the Beatrice searching for not a tour guide during the end phase. Did we mill tour guide? No, we did not. Okay. Dark contract to the gate. Get searching mates. The Beatrice will be able to quick effect, negate a monster, or banish a monster. Kepler. Come to me, Dark Contract. The Witch will be able to destroy a card next turn. Setting the scales. We are Pendulum Shokaning. Triple Pendulum Summon. A single Beatrice. Come on. Come on. Show me why Triple D is the best deck. Look at me. I got no arms and legs. Woo. Okay. 
Let's go. Come forth. Maxwell. Supreme King Kaiser. Kaiser effect activate. Uh, what did you do exactly? Beatrice is chaining. We're sending Farfa to banish a monster on the field. Now, if this card is Pendulum Summon, all face-up cards your opponent currently, currently controls have their effects negated, but we're chaining before we get negated. Also detaching the Rhino to send another card from the deck to the graveyard. Wait, we didn't banish the, the 3,000 attack? We banished Kaiser. Okay. Dante add back. Beatrice activates. Beatrice is going to summon even though it got destroyed by battle? Holy crap. What was this? Oh, wow. This is weird. If this card is destroyed by battle or card effect, you could special summon a Burning Abyss from your extra deck. And the Virgil... Let's read the Virgil. Virgil states that I can't read the card. Okay, very good. If this card is destroyed by battle or card effect, you could draw one card. Just draw one. Draw one. Negated. Wait, you got negated by your own card? How is this negated? Oh, he negated with the Burning Abyss. Burning Abyss negate. This one, right? Target negate. Okay, very good. Break sword. Break sword gonna get popped. I mean, Triple D looks like the better deck right now. Tor Guide is gonna steal this game. How are you gonna break this field? 4,000 attack, 38, 38. You got Farfa banished once per turn. The opponent's gonna disconnect. There's no way this is gonna be a win without a disconnect. Dante Mel 3. Farfa is your only removal. I mean, yeah, Virgil. Virgil could be removal. Nightmare Shark? I mean, he's at 4,000 life. How? What? 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 Beatrice is here. In defense. We're playing D. We're playing D. Barfa temporarily banish. Okay, delete. Barfa banish, then delete. Skarm in the end phase search. Oh boy, this is a flame on duel. We flame it. The Dark Contract of the Witch could pop the Beatrice. Minus 2,000 Kek W. Kepler negated. Dark Contract searching for another armor again that we could Pendulum Summon back on the fields. Pendulum Show Connie onto the fields. Come forth. Zero defense, yes? Well, we can negate. Beatrice... No, we're going to Farfa Banish instead. And the Phoenix Rhino could also negate. Our Farfa going to banish the 3,000 attack. And the Phoenix Rhino is going to send the Scar. Okay, we're going to zero defense. Zero defense Pierce. Bam. Down to 1,200. Beatrice going to activate Special Summon a monster from the, the last monster in the extra deck. How do you win? Dante could recycle a monster back into the extra deck if we want to, but is not doing so. Recycling the Farfa back to the hand. And the... F I knew it! I freaking knew it! Damn you! I was wrong. I said connection timeout. He time limit one. He ran out of time. Wow. The L. The L. What is so good about Gandora that we're going to take the L? We're going to make the rank 4 XC that searches for Kiteroid, yes? We search for Kiteroid, we can't lose. Searching for the box. Kid see Ghost with five gifted subs. DLM, mine, 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 mine. Thank you so much, Kid see Ghost. We're searching for Kiteroid, yes? Gear, Gig and X, Detach, gra Prep Defense, I guess is better than Kiteroid. Wait, I, I think the semi limit made it so we can't play Kiteroid, right? Let's check out Gandora. Gandora, the Explorer deck. I don't think they can play Kiteroid anymore. So they're playing. Yeah, what? Wait, wait, what? Are they not playing Kiteroid? What the hell? The 
playing uh, some are playing prep defense instead. All right. Guess we can't beat prep defense. Dante is here. Dante mill three. What did we mill into? We milled special song from the grave. We milled search in the end phase. We milled negate. There's nothing really to negate. Beatrice going in. Sphere Kribo stopping the attack of Beatrice. We actually have a back and forth duel. I'm very happy to see this. What is the way to deal with Beatrice? We're going to have to banish it? I think so. I think Gandora banish. Banish all other cards on the field is going to be the play. That's going to be the way. Gear Gigan X searching for another Wyvern. Come to me, drill. Anchor drill, special summon Wyvern. Wyvern search for, is that another gearbox? What the, how many gearboxes you play? Grab another anchor drill. I mean, is that, that's the way to play the deck? Ryu Zane's deck, this is what it looks like. Anchor drill and box and Wyvern. What the hell? Malevolent Sin counters the Beatrice, unless we negate. So we have to send the negate or send a Farfa. That's a negate. Negate the Malevolent Sin, we're good. A Lich, negate. Okay, okay, we almost lost. <gasps> Bro, that counters you big time. You negate the Malevolent Sin, they make a Corbage, then they return you back in the extra. What? You had to Farfa Banish, bro. You have to Farfa Banish. Wow. Lebig summon a monster from the hand. Determination to fight. Grabbing Gandora the Explorer. You can't negate Malevolent Sin. You gotta banish it. Giga Rays. Come. Uh, no cutscene. Boundless Giga Rays. Is this a full banish? What are we doing? <laughs> 5,400 attack. No way. Let's freaking go. That was such a great ending to this win streak. Holy moly. What deck do I play? Gandora or BA? That was nuts. Damn. YouTube, this is the Burning Abyss deck type breakdown, so you could check out if you liked the gameplay. The This is a winning deck. Luke Tyler, I highly recommend this. Double Beatrice, that's the way. Double. Get a second copy. Luke Tyler knows the way. Loving it. He got first place. Thank you all. Like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the Duel Links action. Let's go.